hello everyone welcome back to the channel as you can see this is HP Pavilion X360 convertible laptop recently the keyboard doesn't work due to the water or liquid spillage so we're going to replace the keyboard changing keyboard for HP laptops some of them are super easy and cheaper and some are all very expensive like that one as you can see this is the replacement comes without any frame which is the cheaper option but very difficult to do that so if you want to save your money that would be the only option okay so changing this sort of keyboard first of all we need to take out the keyboard panel and sometimes they laid the motherboard top of the keyboard but unfortunately uh, you know that's the design anyway but good news is this model the keyboard panel is completely separate okay and we can pull it out without pulling out the motherboard all right so let's do that if you would like to save your money you can choose the option it takes time a lot of patience and you can get it done first of all turn off the laptop and take out all the screws from the back some screws hidden under the pad especially the hinges one and the middle two of them and all the screws same in size so you can keep it together So that's the actual keyboard panel we don't need to touch on the actual motherboard or any other stuff so we're gonna leave it on the side and now what I need to do we need to take out this old keyboard out by removing this metal plate can you see the metal plate there are a lot of plastic rabbits we need to pull this out and before we touch on it we need to take out the trackpad as well and I would suggest you please double check uh, the replacement if that is same or not otherwise that is a kind of pain you know so you can check the model number at the same time you can check the actual flex connector if it looks same exact point to point and there are a lot of model numbers you can compare with it now we're going to remove this trackpad which is secure with seven screws three wide screws and four tiny screws.
Now we're going to melt down the actual all the plastic rabbits as you can see the black dotted spot. You know those are very difficult but we can use the actual soldering gun to melt it down and pull this out. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. So before you put this on you must have to check the replacement part if that is faulty or not so make sure you connect it and press every single button to check and just keep a kind of piece of paper in between the motherboard and the replacement keyboard because there could be short circuited because of the metal layer on the back and now you don't need to apply any sort of heat or the soldering gun to melt down the actual rabbits what you can do you can just gently pull the keyboard and it should come out it's gonna make a lot of noise just keep your fingers quite firm and pull it gently it should come out takes a little bit of time and make a lot of noise which is absolutely fine and then it would be ready to apply the new keyboard into this frame and we can put it back and the job would be done.
So finally it's done. Now I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to type something just to check it out if every single button is working or not. There are a few things to remember. Make sure when you put the replacement keyboard you must have to put it gently to get out all the rabbits into the place. So I'm going to type a brown fox jumps quickly over the lazy dog and everything seems working fine all right still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and i will try my best to reply and please do subscribe if you do like this video thank you so much see you again bye for now